Uh, one of the first molecules that, uh, infamous molecules that we uh, are known for is resveratrol from red wine. That molecule discovered it in my 30s, or at least linked it to aging. What we showed was that if you give it to a, a fat mouse, they're as healthy as a thin mouse. Uh, they live just as long, they didn't get heart disease and all of the other bad stuff. Then what we did was interesting. We gave it to the mice either every day in their food or let them skip a meal every day so that they were fed every other day. And that combination of resveratrol plus every other day feeding, we had the longest lifespan we'd ever seen. And it was so it was additive. Same with exercise. If we give our latest molecule called NMN uh, to a mouse and we exercise it, it'll run even further than it could with either of those alone. So it's not an excuse to sit around and just eat chips and watch TV. It augments a healthy lifestyle, gets you further than what you could get naturally. Uh, so about 20 years ago, uh, Lenny Garanti and a team of us at MIT discovered a set of genes that controls aging in yeast cells, just brewer's yeast, what you find in beer and bread. And those genes are called sirtuins, and there are seven of them in our bodies, five in yeast. And what they do is they protect all organisms on the planet, plants, bacteria, humans, from deterioration and disease. They're like the Pentagon. They sense when we're hungry, sense when we're exercising, and they send out the troops to defend us. So when you, when you put more of these genes into a yeast cell or, or a mouse, they'll live longer, between oh, 5 to 20% longer. And so we think that these genes are responsible for the effects of dieting and exercise, which is great. Which, what that means is we can now mimic that with molecules. So NMN is one of those molecules. So is resveratrol. You can think of resveratrol as the accelerator pedal for the sirtuin genes, and the NMN is the, is the fuel. And without fuel, resveratrol won't work, so NMN is the, the gas in the car. Okay, get this. So sirtuins need NAD mm -hmm. to work. Without them, uh, they don't work. In fact, if you don't have NAD in your body, you'd be dead in about 30 seconds. It's a really important molecule. But as we get older, we lose NAD. So by the time you're 50, like I almost am, you have about the half the levels of once what you had when you were 20. So that's not good. And these sirtuins, they don't protect the body without high levels of NAD. So what NMN does, and this other molecule called NR, which both you can get on the internet, they boost the body's levels of NAD back up to youthful levels again. And if we give them to mice, uh, these molecules to, to mice or even to worms or yeast, they live longer and they're super healthy. Now, what level, like how many milligrams are you taking of these things? Uh, so, yeah, NMN is, is um, something I, I get from, from myself. I'm not selling anything. So I take a gram of NMN in the morning based on clinical trials. It's been shown that that will raise NAD. With or without food? Um, I take a little bit of yogurt that I make myself at home just to settle me. Uh, yeah, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, and uh, I only start doing stuff when I see it working animals first. So take, take the yogurt, mix in some resveratrol. Resveratrol is great, but it's really insoluble. It's like brick dust. So in the yogurt, it'll dissolve. Take another half a gram of resveratrol. And how much? Uh, half a gram? Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a powder. I have a few kilos left over from clinical trials in my basement. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that, that's going to last me a few decades.